Hi guys, I hope you are all doing well. Let's see today's question. So today's question, we are taking this up from the topic of definite integration. And if I talk about the question which is given to us here from this topic, the question tells us if integral of 0 to pi over 3 cos raised to 4 x dx is equal to a pi plus b root 3 where we have been given a and b belong to rational numbers then the question is further asking us to figure out the value of 9a plus 8b now if i talk about the answer choices that we have here the options are 2 1 3 and the last answer choice we have been given is 3 over 2 so we need to figure out which one of the answer choices is the correct answer for the question that is given to us here so let's start to solve this question further and find out which is the correct answer. Before starting off with the solution, I would first like to tell you that please do subscribe to my channel and support the channel as well because it takes lots of efforts in making these videos for you on everyday basis. And it is free for you but also motivates me to put up better content and try to make the solutions as easy as possible for you to understand them in a better manner. So here the integral we have been given is 0 to pi over 3 cos raised to 4x dx. So first let's solve this integral and then we'll equate it with a pi plus b root 3 to get a and b. So first let's try to simplify cos raised to 4x. So if I try to simplify cos raised to 4x, I can write that further as cos square x whole squared. Cos square x, if I try to write it in the form of double angle, we know. 1 plus cos 2 theta is 2 cos square theta. So once I have that with me, cos square x, I can write that as 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2. So I get from here, 1 plus cos 2x divided by 2, the whole square. So further, if I try to simplify this, I get 1 over 2 squared, which is 1 fourth. And a plus b, the whole square, I get a square plus 2 a b plus b square. So we get this idea. Now once I have this with me, I will write 1 over 4. 1 squared which is 1. 2 into 1, 2. Cos 2x. Plus cos square 2x, I can further simplify that as 1 plus cos 4x divided by 2. So from here I get 1 over 4. 1 plus 2 cos 2x plus 1 over 2 plus cos 4x over 2. So if I try to simplify 1 plus half, we know it is 3 over 2. So 3 over 2 multiplied with 4 in the denominator becomes 3 over 8 plus 2 over 4, which is half cos 2x plus this becomes half and 1 fourth, so 1 over 8 cos 4x. So we get this entire idea. Now, once I have this with me, I'll just put that here. And if I try to simplify that, 0 to pi over 3, 3 over 8 plus half cos 2x plus 1 8 cos 4x dx. Now, if I just take the integral of these expressions, I get 3 over 8 common as a constant. So, out. So, integral of 1, basically, that is x plus half integral of cos 2x which is sine 2x divided by 2 and integral of cos 4x which is basically sine 4x divided by 4. The limits go from 0 to pi over 3. So from here I get 3 over 8 pi over 3 plus half into half into sine 2 pi over 3 plus 1 over 32 sine 4 pi over 3. So putting the upper limit pi over 3 minus, if I put 0 here, this is 0, sine of 0 is 0, sine of 0 is 0. So 
you get entirely zero for the whole next term, putting the lower limit zero. So I get this idea. Now, if I further try to solve this, let's see what I get. So first of all, here, if I see, I can cancel this three and three. So you're just left with pi over eight. So is equals to pi over eight plus. This is one fourth of sine two pi over three. And the next term I have is one over 32 sine of four pi over. Now let's try to figure out the values of sine of two pi over three and sine of four pi over three. So two pi over three, if I convert it into degree, I get this is 180 over pi. Pi pi cancels, you get 360 divided by three, which is 120 degrees. So sine of 120, I can write that as sine of 180 minus 60. And sine of 180 minus theta, we know sine remains sine only. And 180 minus theta means 180 is here. Minus theta means you're going somewhere here, means second quadrant. And in second quadrant, sine is always positive. So you get this as same sine 60. So that is basically root 3 over 2. So this value is root 3 over 2. If I talk about 4 pi over 3, let's see. So 4 pi over 3, we get this as... 180 over pi. So pi pi again gets cancelled. 3 ones, 360s. 16 to 4, you get 240 degrees. Now 240, if I try to figure out sine of 240, I get this is sine of 180 plus 60. And when I have 180 plus 60, 180 is here. Plus 60 means you're going in third quadrant. Sine of 180 plus theta will remain sine only. But in the third quadrant, if I see sine becomes negative. So you get basically negative sine 60 and that makes it negative root three over two. So you have root three over two and negative root three over two. Once I have that, I'll put it here. So negative root three over two. So what I get from here is pi over eight, one fourth of root three over two plus one over 32 into minus root three over two. So what I get from here, let's talk about that. Pi over eight plus root three over eight minus root three over 64. So what I get here is multiplying by eight. So what I get is pi over eight plus eight root three minus root three, which is seven root three divided by eight into eight, which is 64. So I get this. Angle. Now, once I have this with me, the question tells me that integral of 0 to pi over 3 cos raised to 4x dx which i got the answer for that as pi over 8 plus 7 root 3 over 64. the question tells me this is actually nothing but equals to a pi plus b root 3. so if i compare this i get a is basically 1 over 8 and b i get this is 7 over 64. now once i have that with me the question is not asking me to figure out a and b. It's asking me to figure out the value of an expression. That is 9a plus 8b. So if I put that 9a was 1 over 8 and b was 7 over 64. So 1 over 8 plus 8 into 7 over 64. You can cancel this 8 with 64. So you get 9 over 8 plus 7 over 8. Same denominator. So adding numerator 16 over 8. That is 2. So we get the answer for the question and that basically matches with option A. So A becomes the correct answer for the question that is given to us here. I hope you have understood how to solve this type of questions which deals with the ideas of finding the answers using the idea of integration and then finding A and B and putting that in the expression. I'll see you again tomorrow with some other question from some other topic. And we are going to continue our questions now from the year 2024. So stay tuned for more videos to roll out. Also, if you are enjoying these videos that we are doing on everyday basis, please do like the videos as well and do subscribe to my channel and share this channel with your friends also who are involved in the preparation of questions on JWE. So they can also take the benefit from these questions which we are solving on everyday basis. Thank you.